Oh. Hello, friends. And enemies, it's me, V, coming at you with week 68. I went to the farmer's market. I did a 30-minute vlog. And then I realized that the actual vlog that I shot, that I'm going to try and somehow cut. I don't know how, but I need to cut, I, I need to cut it. Um... That talked more about vlogging in general, as well as editing, all that fun stuff. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to cut that up and try to make two videos <laughs> instead of putting all my information on this, since this is just my weight loss. Because that's not fair to you. How would you feel if you had someone, I do apologize, you know, when you hit it when YouTubers will say, oh yeah, I'm gonna tell you about my weight loss journey, or I'm gonna tell you how much I weigh. And then they, you know, they do an entire 10 minute video that, you know, there's no interesting images or the way they shot something. And then within the last 30 seconds, I'm at blah, blah, blah. So I'm gonna tell you now, I am 206.6 pounds. Ooh, sorry. I apologize, that was a burp. I didn't even know it was gonna come out. I, I felt kind of like my chest was a little bit like, ooh, but I didn't think I would belch, so I apologize. Uh, this is water. I use the Kool-Aid sticks because, as you can tell with my lips, I haven't been drinking as much water. So I'm trying to force myself again to drink water because my lips get crusty when I'm dehydrated. And then I start to feel thirsty. So with cracked lip, I'm like, oh, hell no, not again because that's not cute. How do I feel? I feel absolutely freaking fantastic. This week, I was exercising more than I wanted to admit. Sunday, it felt like crap. And then Monday, I want to say it was Monday, where I was like, no, I'm not going to exercise. And then at 11.40, I was like, screw it, I'm going to go exercise. So I did Bali X, which is actually funny because Bali X is this fitness thing. Is this fitness, vi it's not a video, but the fitness instructor where, instructor where you're is the name of the company. The guy or woman, they're then dancing to Indian music. And they're doing it in the in the spirit of Bollywood films. So <coughs> when they had a group on. When they had a group on a couple months back, I said, let me jump on board. I got on board. The Groupon was $49, and I am a lifetime member, which I was like, sweet, awesome, I could really get behind this. The only thing is, <coughs> as you know, I bought <clears throat> I bought Neo Fitness for $79 for the entire year, and I really like it. I've been trying to exercise more with uh, Neo, Neo Fitness just because, hey, it's exercise, getting it done. Um, I did also do Leslie Samsung. I'm starting to realize that with her, for whatever reason, when I'm just walking in place and doing the walk stuff, my knee, my left knee, that the one that I fell on, that really starts to hurt versus if I'm doing Vixen workout or Bali X, I'm able to do it and I don't feel it. I mean, I my leg kind of gets a little stiff, but not really. So that's the one thing I learned. This week, but I did Bali X. I did Leslie Samson, as I mentioned. <coughs> I was actually just trying to do exercises because I'm like, I have to do something. Although I did feel as if, <sighs> I will say that I did pick out <coughs> the beginning of this week, which is why I think I got down to 206.6. <coughs> what is going on? <coughs> <coughs> Hold on. Well. That was a that was a thing that happened. Um, <clears throat> I have to go to the doctor. The crappy thing is, <clears throat> they have my work number down as my house phone number because when I put into my work thing, like, hey, this is my mailing address, this is my house address, and this is my phone number, and this is my work no phone number. For some reason. Instead of keeping what I had selected as, this is my preferred number, um, my work number was selected as preferred number to contact, and they took that as my house phone number. And then my mom's house 
even though I had written that as mailing address and then listed my actual house and have changed it, they were like, oh, you don't know. Your actual house is, is mailing and your mom's house is where you live. So we're going to send it to your mom's house because that's where you live. Which as you, if you, 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 even me talking out loud, you're like, that doesn't make sense. Exactly. Exactly. Which is annoying as hell. Um, what I'm going to try to do, what I've been trying to do, and I'm looking at my calendar now because I'm trying to figure out what days I have off. Which is the weekend. Again, I apologize. That one I did fill up, come up, so I do apologize. This is what I'm eating for lunch. Or for lunch slash breakfast, actually. This. And it's actually 8.30. This is also what I got from the, um, from the farmer's market. Because I've been hankering for the cheesy bread. The spicy cheesy bread. And then I was like, no. Shouldn't have cheesy bread. And then I was like, get cheesy bread. So I got cheesy bread. I also got a raspberry danish. I haven't had that in a while. Those are, I adore danishes. I will say, at the farmer's market, because I'm Quentin, I'm Quentin Tarantino wing things. So, wait, let me take some coffee. Mm. I was trying to show you the coffee, and then I'm like, oh no, you're going to see my bare legs. I'm wearing underwear. I apologize. Uh, skin Flex or Skinamax or whatever it is that you guys call it. I don't know. No. Um, let me Quentin Tarantino everything back. So let's go back. Um, I, before I went to bed at like four in the morning, I was like, I want some cheesy bread. Couldn't sleep. And that's one way I know that I'm going to get my period for whatever reason, I have a ton of energy and then I can't fall asleep until four or five in the morning, which is a beast because then I get up at eight and I hate everything. I've been getting maybe four hours of sleep this entire week, which also told me you're, you're probably going to start your period. And uh, yeah, it's going to start soon. And already I start to feel bloated and it's just, it's just beautiful. Really? It's beautiful. It's beautiful in the sense that I have to keep exercising. I joined this squat challenge over at Lipstick Alley. Um, <coughs> the June challenge. I think I might link it below where you guys can go and watch it. What the fuck was that? Uh, no, there was, a, there was a reflection of a light. So it looked as if someone had shown it up through my blinds. And that's why I was like, what the fuck? It's neither here nor there. Point is that I need to continue exercising because my problem is I will exercise, everything will be good, and then once I get my period, I'm so bloated, everything hurts, and ibuprofen only works so much where I'm like, screw it, I'd rather just sleep. And usually I'll get, and even when I try to sleep, I can't really sleep, and it's just, it sucks. So I want to beat that by purposefully exercising beforehand so I don't have to worry about that because I woke up today and I was like yeah 206.6 and then all of a sudden my uterus it felt like something you know how I'm trying to say this for anyone who uh, I, I, I'm trying to say this for anyone who does not have a uterus um that's not the right way to say that, so I apologize. Uh, what I'm really trying to say is it feels like someone has has taken a hand inside of my body and has just been, like, attacking it with nails. And that's why it hurts. And it's just painful. And when that happens, I know then you're going to get your period. Which means my weight should start ballooning up right about now. I bet you. I'm willing to bet you. That tomorrow I'm going to weigh myself and I'm going to be like 207, 208. Oh, like the last time. Just remember, like the last time. What week was it? Oh, crap. There was a week where I had told you guys like, hey, I'm down, blah, 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 blah. And then I kept going up. And I was like, I don't understand, you know, 211, blah, blah, blah. And then after my period, foof. 
lost all their weight. So I just want to say to anyone who has a period, whether you identify as male or female or bi binary or excuse me, non-binary, just want to let you guys know that with your uteruses, definitely weigh yourself, but realize that there's going to probably be a lot of water weight. And according to things that I've seen online, you're looking at five pounds of water retention and bloating and all that fun stuff, which is why I'm trying to drink more water. So then that way, when it does come, I'm not screwed. With my coffee, I have four cups. This is the first cup. Um, with the whole pot that I brewed, I put, was it four? No. No! Oh! I put six tablespoons of coffee creamer. Typically, I do three cups of coffee, and I have four I have four tablespoons of coffee mate. I've been trying to wean myself down. Um, the only reason why sometimes I do such a high, uh, high count is the fact that I like my tablespoons leveled off, and for whatever reason... I had, it was over it, and I was just like, whatever, and I just poured it in, and then I was like, I don't want to put it back in the bag because it's now in the filter, and you know, it's it's not contaminated, but to me, it just feels like if something's already in the bag, you can't just untake it out, and so I did that. So I have strong-ass coffee that I am not used to, but we'll work through it. Anyway, I'll let you guys go. Yeah. Bye.